Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Captain Gamer and I'm here to show you how to resolve the banking issue that you may have experienced during your gameplay on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So the banking issue is mostly related to the fact that you have a controller or you're using a controller to uh, fly. Uh, I'm using an Xbox One controller that is connected to my uh, PC through a USB cable and I have that issue uh, when I'm flying and I'm when I'm trying to take off so let me show you the issue let me show you how to uh, fix it so let me go check here my controls very quickly I'm gonna try to uh, remove any type of preset so I'm gonna remove that preset and I'm gonna go revert back to my default. So this is my default. This is the first thing you wanna do is maybe delete any presets you have and go back to the default. And then from the default, we're gonna try to fix it. So this is my default controller. You can see it's hooked up. Everything is okay. It should be the same thing for you. And let's go back. Oh, let's apply and save. And I'm gonna try to take off with the icon A5 from the Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. So I'm just gonna go ahead slam the TLA remove the brakes and as you can see right away my 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 airplane is trying to uh, bank or or here you can see it's trying to yaw to the right so I'm gonna fix that with my yaw uh, with my rudder and I'm gonna try to take off in those uh, conditions so here we go and we're hitting 60 uh, knots and it's a nice takeoff we can put back the landing gear retract them and let's look outside let me retract the flaps as well so we can see what's really happening so right now i'm flying manually and let me do a quick turn let me try to face the city and I'm flying on clear skies, clear day, uh, no wind, no nothing, just so you guys can experience it firsthand with me. So as you can see, now the airplane is centered. I'm gonna let go. If I let go, it starts banking to the right and pitching down, both. Banking and pitching down. And then I have to pick it back up try to reposition it and then repositioned and bam another bank with a pitch down so let's try not let's try not to crash so that we can fix the issue without restarting so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to position the airplane and recenter it and then we're gonna go into the pause menu so this is perfect let's go into the pause menu and then we're gonna go into controls and then from controls what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the button sensitivity so as you can see on your left uh, stick uh, the one that's controlling the x-axis and the y-axis so the x-axis is your uh, banking axis and the y-axis is your pitch axis so on your bank axis you can see that you have an offset from the original uh, by I don't know maybe like a, like a three quarter of a, of a square I don't know but anyways this should have been in the uh, initial condition or at the zero and so is that one also on the y axis which is your pitch is also offset by a little bit which is the reason why you can see that we're pitching down every try every time we try to fly um, this also this issue may be uh, connected to the to how you you're using your autopilot if you're using your autopilot because as soon as you try to use your uh, uh, stick uh, it will uh, automatically override the autopilot commands to the uh, control system or it can just disengage autopilot completely depending on what type of aircraft you're flying how the settings are and all that so what we want to do here is we want to look at the dead zone area right here and this is a very simple fix very easy it worked for me and what you're going to do is you can see that we want to put down 
a little bit maybe give it like a gap here just a little small gap right here about 23 percent i want to just have that one back to the original axis the x axis over here so that that means that it's not doing any type of movement so the offset from the original doesn't matter as long as it's not hitting the y axis and so with that one that's the same thing what you want to do is you also want to put it back down i like to leave a little bit a gap in front of it over here as well very nice and what you want to do is you press done it's going to ask you to create a profile you can just call it controller profile this default name just say okay whatever blah 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 apply and save and then let's go back and see let's resume so let me recenter it and you can see that the airplane now is centered with a slight pitch up i guess maybe just uh so I'm trying to recenter it a little bit all right now we're centered hand off not touching the controller and you can see no more banking no more pitching no more nothing everything is nice and we can also check from the inside we can look at the dial and you can see that the airplane is perfectly centered where I left it maybe actually it's not perfectly 100% centered let's try to center it 100% and see so here we go now it's perfectly centered you can see here from that dial right here in the middle that's perfectly centered almost perfect I mean yeah it's very hard to do that manually but yeah here we go now it's perfectly centered it doesn't move very stable very nice everything is nice all I'm just seeing is that I may be hitting over speed very soon so let me reduce my speed a little bit and that's it so thank you so much for watching hope this helped you resolve your issue and uh, please like and subscribe and hope to see you on my next videos thank you very much